But if it lets go here, it'll go straight up. Mm -hmm. And that's what this problem is. So the water let go here and went straight up 55 centimeters before it turned around and came back down. And then one turn later, water at the same spot let go again, but one turn later, and it only went 47 centimeters. And the question is, what's the angular acceleration of the wheel? <clears throat> so the equation you want to use is uh, the Fantastic Four for angular momentum, for angular motion. And let me think about which one we want. I think what probably threw me off is I didn't know to use the one turn. Yeah, part. that's the key. That's the key. Uh, probably number three, delta theta equals V naught times T. No, that's not going to work. Let's try a different one. We don't know T. Uh, how about T? Yeah, the last number four. Um, omega F squared equals omega naught squared plus two alpha delta theta. That's the one we want. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so let's see. We can get these two angular speeds from these two heights. Here's how you do that. You say that height, um, if it's got potential energy there, it must have had kinetic energy there, and those two equal each other. So we say uh, mgh equals one half mv squared. This is final energy. Let me write this out. Energy initial equals energy final minus the work not conserved, and there's no friction. So initially, now I wrote backwards. Initially it has kinetic energy, and finally it has potential energy. Here's your initial situation, there's your final situation. M cancels out. So we can solve this for h. h is equal to v squared over 2g. Uh, except we don't care about that, do we? We want v. So v is equal to square root of 2g h. Send the 2 up there. And then we remember the translation between angular and linear so that v is equal to r omega so omega is equal to v over r so this would be square root of 2g h over r and so we do this for our two heights then we can find our final and initial angular speed so let me write that in purple here. This one would be square root of 2g h1, I'm uh, sorry, h2. Divided by r. This one would be square root of 2g h1 over r. And what would delta theta be? Two pi? Yes. One revolution later, two pi. Because it always has to be in radians. Good. That was the main of my existence. And April calculus. You got the wheel. it. Yeah. The wheel. Yeah. The unit circle. Uh, uh, so now you know everything here, and you can solve for. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.